Good evening, folks, and welcome to the Horror Corner. I'm your host, Sean Patrick Urshan. And as you can see, it's not really evening, is it? <laughs> I'm sitting here in my car uh, before I go to work. I figured I'd knock this video out. Uh, so this is the horror sequel tag created by Movie Review Time, who's an awesome YouTuber. If you guys haven't subscribed to him yet, please do so. He's awesome. Uh, and this is going to be a real fun one. Nine questions all about your favorite horror sequels. And I love me some horror sequels. <laughs> Number one, what is your favorite horror sequel? Uh, to me, if you guys know me at all, you probably know the answer. And that is Halloween 2 from 1981. Uh, I feel like it's the one that stands up against the original. That's got a lot of the same feel and tone. It's scary. I feel like it was so well done. It's just an excellent sequel. Uh, and to me, it's the greatest horror sequel of all time. You've got all the returning cast members. You've got Jamie Lee Curtis as Laurie Strode. You've got Donald Pleasance as Dr. Loomis coming back. You have Sheriff Brackett coming back, played by Charles Cyphers. So awesome. I, I love it. I love it. Number two is, what is the worst horror sequel? Uh, to me, it's like, oh, that's a tough one, you know? Because there's so many bad sequels, <laughs> you know? Uh, I had to pick the one that just pisses me off the most. And for me, that's going to be Freddy's Dead, The Final Nightmare. <laughs> that's the one that just pisses me off the most because the original Nightmare on Elm Street from 1984 directed by Wes Craven is such an amazing classic to me and to see the fall from grace that is Freddy's Dead to see how far it had fallen uh, is just pisses me off it's aggravating it's like it's so bad you know uh, to see Freddy become a one-dimensional jokester uh, and to see the series just become a parody of itself is just like, all right, enough already. Just cut the cord. <laughs> Number three is, what horror sequel is the most underrated in your opinion? To me, that's going to be Psycho 2. Uh, of course, you had the return of Norman Bates, played so brilliantly by uh, Anthony Perkins. Uh, and you might think, wow, that's insane. How can you make a sequel to such a classic like Psycho and do it so many years later, like 25 years later? To me, it makes perfect sense because he was in jail that whole time. <laughs> uh, and I love they, they brought back Vera Miles from the original classic. Uh, you had a great performance by Meg Tilly. I think it's really, really well done. It's really suspenseful. It keeps you on the edge of your seat. It keeps you guessing the whole time. Well, did Norman really do this? Or did someone else do it? You know? I love that. Uh, so yeah, Psycho 2. Uh, number 4. What horror sequel is the most overrated in your opinion? Uh, for me, it's going to be Halloween 4. I know it might disappoint some of the Halloween fans. They know I love Halloween franchise as, uh, so much. But I feel like Halloween 4 is put up on a pedestal, and uh, there's a lot of flaws to it, you know? Uh, I feel like it's kind of generic. And uh, But don't get me wrong, guys. I really like the film. Why do I like it? It's because of the performances of Danielle Harris, such a wonderful addition to the franchise. Uh, Donald Pleasance coming back as Dr. Loomis is always fantastic. And Ellie Cornell as Rachel Carruthers. Those are the only things to me that make this a good sequel uh, and make it watchable. I think if it wasn't for that, it would be kind of a generic slasher movie, you know, that would not particularly stylish outside that, you know, opening scene, which was really cool. Um, yeah, I didn't like Michael in it. I felt like he wasn't scary enough. Uh, he wasn't nearly as scary as he was in the first two films. He was kind of like... A generic version of Michael with that awful, awful mask. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I really like the film. Don't get me wrong. I like Halloween 4. It's a good movie. It's a nice return to form for the series. It was nice seeing Michael come back. But I feel like people miss the flaws in it, you know? People are like, oh, it's the best Halloween sequel easily. Um, and I just don't agree with that. Uh, number five is, what is the best death scene in a horror sequel? To me, that's going to be Halloween 2, baby. Nurse Karen's death in the hot tub. <laughs> Such a classic scene. It's so morbid. It's so brutal. 
Um, it's so brilliantly shot, in my opinion. It's it's so sick. I love how uh, the build-up to it as well, when Michael uh, comes up behind Nurse Karen, puts his hand on his shoulder, and, you know, she thinks it's her boyfriend, but... And she kisses his hand and starts, like, sucking on her fing uh, his finger and stuff. And as soon as she turns around, ksh, dunks her in the scolding, scolding hot water, and her face starts to melt, and her flesh is hanging off her face. <laughs> it's so well shot. It's awesome. Uh, so, number six, uh, what horror sequel had the best gore effects? So, I am going to go with the uh, classic Dawn of the Dead. That's right, from near George Romero, the legendary effects by Tom Savini, of course. Who else could it be? <laughs> uh, I just think, like, it's such an awesome sequel. It's one of the greatest horror sequels ever. And it had the best gore effects in a horror sequel, definitely. I mean, there's just gore all over that freaking movie. And uh, just some awesome, awesome shots, like the machete going into the dude's head. The guy getting ripped off and his intestines pulled out of him. Uh, the helicopter scene when the guy gets the top of his head cut off. You know? uh, it's just awesome. Awesome movie, awesome gore effects by the legendary Tom Savini. Uh, number seven, what horror sequel did you used to hate but now you love? That's a great question. Uh, so I'm going to go with Friday the 13th Part 5, A New Beginning. I know a lot of people hate that movie, you know. And I used to hate it too um, because of the twist ending that I feel really doesn't work. And it doesn't. It still doesn't. But the rest of the movie I feel like is a lot of fun, you know. <laughs> There's some great gore effects. There's some nasty kills. Uh, to me, it's like a classic Friday 13th movie in every way, except it's a little more sleazy with a little more nudity. And what's wrong with that, you know? <laughs> I just feel like it's a lot of fun. You know, it's one of the most fun entries in the Friday 13th franchise. I don't take it that seriously, but I have a great time with it. Uh, number eight, what horror sequel did you used to love but now you hate? Uh, I have to admit, it's Halloween Resurrection. You guys are going to be like, what? Halloween Resurrection? That's the worst movie ever, <laughs> you know? And yeah, I get it. Uh, but when I first saw it in the movie theaters, I had a great time with it. Uh, and it was mostly because of the atmosphere. Uh, people were having such a great time in the movie theater. They were yelling and screaming and like, oh, what are you doing? Get out of the way. And you know that. <laughs> and it was fun. And, of course, there was that Halloween nerd in me that, you know, was kind of disappointed about the Halloween H2O ending. And there's part of me that just wants to see Halloween go on forever and ever and ever. Even though I know it shouldn't, you know. Um, but, yeah, and, of course, then when I get it on DVD, I realize that it's a piece of crap. It's a steaming pile of crap. It's a terrible movie. <laughs> and I was like, what the hell was I thinking, you know? <laughs> Number nine is what horror sequel had the best ending? To me, that's going to be Halloween H2O. Uh, I mean, that was just the perfect ending, and I feel like the Halloween franchise should have ended right there. That should have been it, because that was just the perfect capping point. Uh, Michael getting his head chopped off by his arch nemesis, his arch rival, Laurie Strode. Uh, it was just poetic. It was beautiful. Awesome. Perfect. Let's uh, close the door on the Halloween franchise. But no, they had to keep going forever, you know. It's probably never going to stop. <laughs> uh, Alright, guys, that's it for the horror sequel tag by Movie Review Time. Uh, now I'm going to tag some people. I'm going to chat. I'm going to tag Chucky Doll. I'm going to tag Horror Metal. I'm going to tag The Wicker Boy. I'm going to tag Movie Massacre. I'm going to tag Jen's Reviews from the Grave. And last but not least, the horror miser, Monty G. So guys, answer the call and do the horror sequel tag by Movie Review Time. And thank you for joining me, Sean Patrick Urshan, in the Horror Corner. Tune in and stay scared.